I put the spotlight on your city. I put the spotlight on your city. See those superstars. Hollywood to Hollywood. Girl, you look good. Yeah, they hollering, baby. A key modeling, baby. ATL, D. I put the spotlight on your city. Carolina Fleet. I put the spotlight on your city. Lay. Man, get it up to Anthony and the crew. Spotlight over the city. Welcome to Spotlight over the city. My name is Stan Long, along with the lovely Terry T. Bomb Long. Give it up, give it up, give it up. <laughs> Man, welcome to Spotlight over the city, you guys. We appreciate my live audience, everybody in the building. We have a wonderful show today for you guys. Yes, we do. But before do. we go any further, we would like to say shout out to the whole WLVS family. Oh, we would man. Like to also, the whole Listen Vision family. Thank yes. you guys for tuning in. All the way in Philadelphia, the Hall Mills Network in Jersey. We shout out to Jenny Jones all the way out in L.A., uh, the whole Atlanta family. We love you guys down there in Atlanta. We'll be down there shortly. Man, I just got an inbox about some great news down there. We're going to be coming to you guys broadcasting live in uh, Atlanta soon. We're going to be covering some events. Shout yeah. out to North Carolina, Charlotte. Got the, uh, we got, we'll be down there doing some big things for the uh, uh, NBA All-Star. Um, uh -huh. Shout out to uh, who else? Uh -huh. Everybody, Facebook family, what's going on? We hey, see y'all on Facebook. Everybody that's with us live on Facebook, we appreciate you guys for turning in. Yeah, I got to turn Let's it get down, to it. baby. Let's oh. get to okay, it. you know we live, but we do the... Congratulations, I, I though, to uh, Jeremy. Um, Jeremy Beaver, you yes. did that. Hey, Jeremy. You did it. You you pulled it off like a superhero, bro. I, I, yeah, I like he did. to say, give it up for Jeremy Beaver. Yeah, you did that. For, your, for you guys who don't know, Jeremy Beaver is the uh, CEO of Listen Vision. He's a great friend. He's also passionate about hip hop. I didn't know that Jeremy Beaver is the largest collector of uh, hip hop memorabilia in the country. Oh, we know now, so though. He has a museum <laughs> that actually is a hip hop museum pop up down at uh down on uh, Delaware Avenue at the uh, Culture House, formerly known as the Blind. Uh, Blind formerly, Wano. excuse me, I'm still getting over cold. Me and wifey. Uh, formerly known as the Blind Wino. So if you get a chance, go out there and check out the memorabilia. When I say it's an amazing thing, yes. it is totally amazing thing to just see the memorabilia and all the things that we have. And he's collected every piece himself. So yeah. we're proud to be a part of Listen Vision. Just for that alone, that's a big deal. Yes. So um, yes. Uh, this week, last weekend, we were there and we had a booth and it was just a wonderful time. You know, Fox came out, a whole bunch of people came out. It was really nice. It, it was nice. just amazing to and see we our got Grandmaster Cass yeah. and, and uh, Melly Mel and all. Just everybody, man. They was real down to earth and cool. It was a family type of situation. Yeah. It was just lit, you know. It, it was, was super lit. lit. And speaking of that, we have a winner. Oh, yeah. Before we go any further to the show, we have a winner. So give it up for Carol Butler. She's the winner. Uh, she came Carol by the booth. Butler. And she put a business card in, and she was selected as, as the winner of the, uh, what the hell is it? Carol Butler gets the, oh, it's an Echo, a, dot. It's a echo, <laughs> it's a echo dot. dot. Amazon, Amazon Echo, echo Dot. dot. Add cool Alexa too, to so. any room. Yeah, yeah. So it's pretty cool. So Carol so Butler, you're the winner. We'll Carol get this Butler to you. is the winner, and we will get that to her somehow, some way. I haven't figured that part out yet, but we're going to get it to you. We'll get it to her. All right, let's get to it. Spotlight news. Oh. Before we go any further, Spotlight Over the City is hosted by none. Um, I'm sorry. Spotlight Over the City is sponsored by none other than Horse and Dickies. Make sure you get out there and get you some good old fish. I think I want me some tomorrow. Yes. Some good old fish Fridays. Get out yes. there and tell them that Spotlight sent you, and they're going to hit that button, and they're going to give you 10% off your entire order. Yes. So make sure you get out there to that uh, Horse and Dickies on Allentown Road and tell them Spotlight, Spotlight Over the City Spotlight Over the City sent you. But one other thing. I saw that, that you all, Horse and Dickies over there in Suitland, uh, posted today for uh, furloughed government workers on Friday. They're going to do, it's either Friday or Saturday. Check their um, Instagram page. They're going to do uh, buy one meal, get one 50% off. For, you have to show your government ID yes. and, um, and then you can get that special. I really like that. Yep. I think that's amazing. Thank you guys for doing that. He told me they was going to do something. Yeah. I just didn't know what. So, so <laughs> thank you over there, Rasheed. Thank you over there, uh, uh I ain't even gonna say her name because I'm gonna <laughs> keep it right there. So anyway, thank you, Horse and Dickies, for doing that. And we appreciate you guys. For all you furlough workers, everybody that's out there in the trenches, we feel your pain, man. Let me tell you something. Everybody's being affected. Don't think that it's just the people who who are just uh being furloughed or whatever the case yeah. is is being affected. Because, you know, just start with Metro, four hundred thousand dollars a week being lost. Hair salons, uh barbershops, 
um, just everything's being affected right now by this situation, and it's just the beginning, sadly. So yeah, uh, my prayers are with you guys and uh, my Latino brothers and sisters. Believe me when I tell you I haven't forgotten about you. I know when I saw that thing where you, they were putting you guys in these camps and separating you from your children. I also know that they never returned these children. And so I haven't forgotten. With Spotlight Over the City, we keep, your eye, we keep our eye on these type of situations. Yeah. And so we're praying for you guys as well. That's family. And we, wanna, we want something different to happen because if, if it was our family, we would feel away. That's right. How about if they came and take your children and um, put you in a camp? Mm. I call them camps. That's mm-hmm. what they are. They put them in camps and separated the children. And now it's a divide because they didn't tag the children. Yeah. So you may have an infant and you don't know where your child is. And so never mind my freedom at that point. I want to know where my child is and yeah. if they're safe. And so this is what, what what I bleed about. I hate it. And I ain't going to get into it too much. So let's get to it. Spotlight OC. We got news. Well, okay. We got some news. This is not uh this is not new news anymore, but it's still a hot topic. Soldier Boy is still air. I mean, they got memes and all kinds <laughs> of stuff going yeah. on. I owe him an apology. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I owe you an apology, Soldier Boy. I I do. I do. I owe him an apology because last week I said Soldier Boy's a clown and Soldier Boy this and that. And so I still, I don't take back the clown part. Um, I still think Soldier Boy's a clown just for the, he's young. But the way he handles his handles, I think he can do it a different way. Mm -hmm. But I will tell you this. He's not lying to you. Soldier Boy was the innovator of all internet, uh, the wave that you see now where people get money on their own. Soldier Boy pioneered that situation way with the dancing and the blah, blah, blah. He made it possible for you to come up with a song dance and it become platinum. Mm -hmm. And um, he he did that innovatively. He he put his own beats out there and he wrote his own lyrics and he did his own dances. And so for that situation, Soldier Boy, I salute you. I have to say, you talking your trash, but hey, man. Drake. It's solid. Drake. <laughs> I love Breakfast it. Breakfast Club. Right. What? Charlemagne. Right. That's right, babe. The one got five for three different jobs. Charlemagne. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, that's my soldier boy. So, so hey, soldier boy, man. Hey, listen, bro. Salute to you, man. You you grind hard. You got a, a console that no one else has came out with. The game is lit. I heard that you can play Xbox and all this other stuff in one console. And so they hating on you. If other people come up with that, they'll buy it off the shelf. Yeah. Black man come up with that. We hate on our own. Black power. We got to get it together. Yeah. You got to stop doing that. Don't choke out your own, brother. Yeah. Let them get a bag with you. It's okay. That's Support right. them. You, you bought two PlayStations and 100 Xboxes. So get you one of them joints. So let's get That's it. That's right. Shout out to Soldier Boy. Yeah. Let's do something. Get with you, Soldier Boy. Get the money, yeah. bro. Get to the bag, That's bro. That's right. Chris right. Chris Brown, why won't they leave him alone? Well, because he owns his own masters. Chris Brown owns his own masters. How many people you know own their own masters in the music industry? I still have mine. Okay, so when you own your own masters and you own your own destiny, then they gonna slander you as much as possible to try to take your name down because they don't like that fact. Chris Brown is a strong brother. I don't back nothing he did as far as, you know, allegedly he did this and that. I don't have no... I'm not clapping for nothing like that. I don't support that buffoonery. But what I will say is that he's a talented artist, and he has paved the way. Just like Soldier Boy, he's doing some innovative stuff. It's a lot of artists that have been in the game for 20 years and don't own their masters. Mm-hmm. It's a young boy. What yeah. I mean by own your masters is a ma- your master is the is the original uh, record that's cut, and every record is pressed off of it or cut off of it. It's the, it's the master print. Okay. And so when you own your master, you own your destiny. So if you don't own your masters, then you don't have rights to your music. See? So this is what people don't understand in the industry because they just know they just gave me $2 million, but they took 10 from you. Right. So anyway, we don't get too far into that because we got some bomb guests. <laughs> we got to get to it. You know I'm passionate well, anyway, about people. Well, anyway, the rape charges were dropped. The rape charges were That was dropped. fake news. And now he, he is going to sue the accuser. And he should sue them. And I think that this is this is yeah. a good example of what needs to stop because a lot of artists are being uh, extorted, so yep. to speak. And they're paying these people just to get out the media and just not to get their name dragged through the mud and have to go to court. Yeah. But Chris Brown saying, nah, we're not going to do that. So shout out to you, Chris shout Brown. Y'all got to gotta stop that, man. Like, Your boys. Kind of, watch how you move, though, if you're rich. Watch how you move so you won't put yourself in position to be accused. Your get a good boys, camp around you. Have your, your strong boys. camp around you. Don't have your boys dragging a bunch of hood rats around on you. Because yeah, you <laughs> they don't have no money. So they can hit them all day and they're not going to go to jail or none of that. They're going to say Chris did it. Yeah. Let's go. Spotlight. Your, your boys. Who your that? boys. Jay-Z and Meek. Okay. I, they, love I mean, but this is good. They team up yeah, yeah, with yeah, some of it. their rich friends, you know, Rob, Bob Kraft, what, the owner what, of the Patriots. What, what, what's going on with Jay here? <laughs> <laughs> 
not look okay. at his head. He letting his energy flow. I see he you, going, Jack. He going, he going back natural. to his <laughs> He going back to his hey, late. Let hey, it be, what right? they doing, baby? They got going some uh, a prison roof. reform. Yes, right? prison reform. Uh, Robert Kraft and a few other millionaires, they've all pulled together to launch their new criminal justice reform organization called Reform Alliance. A good thing, right? It's a beautiful thing. Yeah. And so shout out to Jay-Z, shout out to me, and um, keep pushing because we need that. We definitely yeah, we need, that. need that. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm proud of them brothers for doing it. Have that. you heard about this disgusting thing? Uh, Nathan Suther Sutherland, a man in Arizona, Phoenix, Arizona, Nathan Sutherland. I think I have his picture too. Um, a male nurse at a healthcare center in Phoenix has been charged with alleged sexual assault after uh, the officials learned that he impregnated one of the mental health patients, and she was an incapacitated like in a vegetative state so show, he saw his picture again he going to go he again. going to go hump on a vegetative state mentally ill woman that he was in charge of caring for because he's they let him a light he they let him right there. <laughs> that's the boy but listen bae wait he's a licensed practical nurse and he was responsible for providing mm -hmm. the care okay so now but is this a leg or did they well he I mean, this he's been charged they got yeah. him because they did a dna test she had the yeah. baby and what? they they gave a DNA test on the baby, and he is the father. You're the father. The one eye boy. The one eye boy. And so now he's being charged because they know she was in a vegetative state. How did you get her pregnant? We so put you and we put you over over her so to he care for mental, her. He has a mental health issue. Well, he got Obviously. something. Well, he wow. gonna work. He gonna work that out behind bars. Whatever okay. he got. I okay. just think that's disgusting. Yeah, and it is. Anyway, what's going on with your girl, Wendy Williams? I actually like <laughs> Wendy Williams. She got a lot of people that don't like her because Wendy Williams mm -hmm. speaks her mind, and if she gets some tea, she going to spill it, and she going to give her personal opinion as well. But Well, we want a personal opinion on We want to know the personal. We want to know the tea on the you now, Wendy. And that. Where, like, where, where, where is that all heard, that right, First we heard her husband was cheating on her, but now we hear, because she is on a long hiatus from her show, which was not planned, right? So right. now she's got all these people filling in, and she was supposed to come back last week, and now she's not coming back. And we don't know when she's coming back. And it's rumored that it's because she, her husband beating her up. It's uh, so Wendy, we need you to come on and talk, come back to the show and talk about it. Like we need on, to know what's going on. So we need to know what's going on because we know all of, everybody else's business according to you. Yeah, like, you give everybody else business. Now we want to know your business. I was, I, I yeah. want the tea. I'm gonna pick up my cup like she do every morning. She be like, mm-hmm. That's what you gonna do? That's what I heard. I heard I she was really getting beat up by her husband. But before we go any further, shout out to Facebook. Everybody on Facebook. Yeah. Cheryl, what's going on, hey, sis? sis? Dr. Neverson. Um, I got ATL in the building. Shout out Clay Cheryl Brown. Cheryl said she on, heard Clayton? that Wendy has Graves' disease. And if that's if that's the if wow. that's what it is and these rumors are false, then I will publicly apologize for just, you know, uh being silly about it. But um we yeah, do want to know. know so right, we, we do want to know. But we, if she does, our prayer go out to her. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, that's not a good situation. Yeah. Michael Cohen. Uh, postpones testimony before Congress. Uh, Stan and I <laughs> talked about this yesterday because like death row, your death row president, Trump, and his <laughs> friend, Knight. Suge AKA Knight. Suge. Yeah, Suge Knight. And then we got the mobster Giuliani. They got they done put threats out, allegedly, allegedly against this man's family. Allegedly, they put threats out on his family. So he said before he go any further and testify, see, what, what was he about to testify against? He was going to say that Trump hired him to go and pay, uh, what was he going to do? Oh, pay to fix the election. See, that went over y'all head. CNN threw it out there real quick and kept going like we didn't hear it, but I rewinded it. And I was like, did he just say that Trump paid them to flip the election, 4951? Hmm. Hmm. Well, mm -hmm. hey, that's what they said on CNN. And he was going to testify, and then he started getting death threats on his family. So he said, well, wait Now he ain't going to testify. Wait well, he going to testify. But they got to get him but safe and get everything Get him order. safe first. Yeah, he going to testify. Can you believe this? Yeah, we, got somebody, believe we got Suge Knight <laughs> running the country. What well, the hell? Well... I mean, so... Uh, All right, let's not get into that. So anyway, happy birthday goes out to Kenya Moore. Can I see her picture? Because I'm like, she 48. Well, let me tell y'all something. And I mean, I, I'm sorry to say this, Ooh. honey. I mean this. When my when my stomach get flat like that, I'm wearing crop tops in the wintertime. I'm wearing crop tops to the, the grocery winter? store. I'm wearing crop tops everywhere I go when my stomach gets like that. Yes. I'm going to be crop oh. top shawty. Crop top. Okay. Yes, I am. Because she, I got to give Rain it to drop. her. She, crop top. That's right. That's going to be me. Okay. Kenya right. Moore just had a baby anyway. But happy birthday to you. She's 48 years and old today. And, and she looks fabulous. you are definitely looking good, Ken, Kenya. Yeah, she She's looks good. Really good. But we have another special birthday today. Our daughter, Tyler, turns 23 yes. today. Happy Shout birthday, out to Tyler, you, Tyler Wilder. Wilder. Shout out 
Shout out Tyler Wilder. Happy birthday, baby. Happy birthday to you. My uh, uh, voice is gone. Yeah, we you can. can do it. Can you hit it for I me? ain't got it. But happy birthday, happy Tyler. Happy birthday, Pumpkin. A.K.A. Lulu. My baby is 23, and I 23, cannot wait to man. kiss you all over your face. And she's established. Graduated. Yeah. Soon, what, soon somebody Something cum laude. Something cum laude. Something like and that all. from Towson University. Mm -hmm. She has her own place, her own car, her own job, her own mind, her own everything. What does it count how she got the car? Don't, like don't y'all put her bins <laughs> off the door on the bus? <laughs> I'm but like anyway, her own car. happy birthday, Tyler Wilder. Let's happy get it. Happy birthday. Let's Do move it. on. Microphone. What we got next? Oh, oh, your segment. This is my favorite part of the show, y'all. Yes. Your favorite part. Okay, Spotlight Shining Star. Spotlight Shining Star is sponsored, you, sponsored by Leverett Financial Services. Go to L-E-V-E-R-E-T-T-E. Dot com, um, financialservices.com, I'm sorry. If you want to get your money right, they will show you how to do just that. Yes, All kind will. of services are only available just for you. Yes, Spotlight Shining Star. What? Hey, how no. do you pronounce this name? Oh, this is August Alcina. Lost his older brother. Okay, the gun you know, violence the, in 2014. The R &B star, yeah, August had, Alcina. I think he And um, recently lost his brother's wife to cancer. Now August is raising his niece's brother's daughter on his own. So what happened is he, August Alcina, the R&B star, right? He, his brother, he lost his brother to gun violence. Mm -hmm. And then his brother's wife, who, who was left as a widow with their daughters, she just died now to cancer. So August Alcina is like, those are my nieces. I got to take them. And so he has taken those girls and is now raising them as his own daughters. And that is commendable. He's a young black man out here in the R&B &B entertainment world. Ain't got no time for three little girls, but he had to, he didn't have to do that. And they, so shout out to you yeah. I, I, and so for those who don't watch it on a regular what we do on spotlight is every week we spotlight a shining star to say to put accolades to somebody in the community or whoever that does something that the, the community you know because they don't give good news yeah. on the news so we make sure that we represent by giving news that uh, that represent us well yeah and so that's what we are glad to have this i love to see a young for. black boy doing that and so, so also chick-fil-a you know chick-fil-a is going through some gripe with the community and this and that. And I, and I don't know what it's about too much, so I don't want to get into that. But I will shout out Chick-fil-A for this. They didn't open up for the Super Bowl. I get that. But what they did do was open up, um, some, I don't remember what city, but someone had, a, it was a, a sickness, an illness, and it was it was a situation where they, they wanted to eat at Chick-fil-A. It was uh, a terminally ill it was person. A ter exactly. They opened up for that person and their family. So shout out to Chick-fil-A, because they don't do it. They just won't. They didn't even do it for the Super Bowl. Yeah. And you know, they losing a bag every Sunday. Know that. They don't care. And so it's about the principle. Yep. So shout they out to Chick-fil-A for standing on principle and just having the God sense to say, I'm going to still stand for something because it ain't many people out here today that's standing for much. That's right. As we can see. Yeah. Uh, number 45 is uh, confusing the hell out of me. So All anyway, right. yeah, let's get to you it. You ready? Yeah, we got a show to do. We so got we a show get to, to do. It. We got some wonderful guests coming up, you guys. So right after this commercial, we'll be right. Hey, hey Jacob, do you have my uh, trailer for the book? Is it on deck? We got um, up next. guess what? Make sure you guys go to Amazon and get a copy of Blackbird Melly, The Transformation of a Gangster. I haven't promoted my book much on here. I don't know why. But um, make sure you do that. And I'm having book signings in Baltimore soon. I'm also having book signings in Atlanta soon and Charlotte and also here in the PG County. So I'm great going to a little book run. Yes. So you guys go on Amazon and get it because we're going to turn it into a film. I'm That's hustling right. hard. We're going to turn it into a film. And um, shout out to Vera Katz. <laughs> Shout hey, out to Ms. you, Cats. Ms. Vera Cats. Hey, Miss Cats. Y'all get my husband's book, though. It's a good read. Sure That's how we got her. together, you know. I used the book <laughs> to get to him. I was just like, I got your book. Yeah, she had to read a damn <laughs> sentence. She ain't even know the title of the book. It worked. It worked, though. I yeah, got him, though, didn't I? We married, ain't we? Ain't we? Ain't, ain't, ain't we, though? It worked. Bloop. Yeah, you got to do what you got to do. It worked. Hey, so guess what? What? You, you say you do, Jacob? Had a trailer? We'll be right back. We'll after be right back. the spotlight of the city. In 1990, Washington, D.C. saw more than 470 homicides, earning it the label murder capital of the U.S. Shit, there you go right there. Hey, listen, when y'all pull over to the side, I'm going to go in here and rush this dude. When y'all see me rushing, y'all rush in. About 30 seconds, give me about 30 seconds and rush the door. He ain't gonna know what hit him. What's up with you, man? How you feel, dude? What's going on with you, man? Man, man, man. I gotta tell you about this meeting, my nigga. Oh, yeah, I gotta yeah, go. I don't know yet. I'm trying to see. I went and talked to the diamonds the other day, man. I don't 
don't know, man. This dude, they were funny. Man, I, can't, I can't really say, uh-huh. but I got a funny feeling that these dudes were feeling at me, son. Sure. You already know what it is. Wait for Black to get in there, give us the signal, run up in the junk, snatch this nigga up, get this bread, spares out. Plus one, <laughs> JV Nay in the building. Give it yes. up, give it up, give it up, give it up. <laughs> man, yes, we looking are so all happy good. To look at her. Look, look <laughs> our guests, man. Do hey, we have the best guests we, all the time. Our guests be so awesome. lit. Our guests be lit. <laughs> she so, is lit. This young lady comes with a little bit of everything: beauty industry, books, all kind of stuff going on. So y'all see. Let's, let's just get right to it. Who is this JV Nay? Let's let's talk about this. Who who are you? Tell the people. So I am a beauty industry educator. I am a marketing consultant, and basically my goal is to help beauty industry professionals improve the quality of their lives by understanding the business of beauty and what we do. A lot of times people say that the beauty industry is superficial, that what we do doesn't really matter, but what we really do is we help people to really provide the best lives for themselves and their family by li- helping them live their best life. When, yeah. when people are getting their hair done, when we get our nails done, like we feel well about ourselves. We feel good about ourselves. Yes. And it's well documented that when you look good, you feel good. People that are well-groomed, who are taking care of themselves, they are more likely to get a pr- promotion. Yes. They're more likely to get a job. They're more likely to advance in their career. So what we do as beauty professionals, it's not superficial. It really allows us to really provide um, self-esteem and um, economic prosperity to our constituents. So wow. I help beauty professionals really understand what we're doing so that we can really make a difference in the community. Wow, I love it. I love it. I love it. So you come with a book. Right. I do, I do. So, so my congratulations. Book, yeah, congrats on that. Being an author, because I do understand being an author is not an easy task. It's not at all. And so you sure. definitely have to have discipline and focus. Yes. And so you have that because you are a published author. Yes. Of what? The Six The figure Six Figure Stylist. stylist. <laughs> so it's the Six Figure Stylist Secrets to um, Exploding Your Beauty Industry Business and creating, creating Success by Design. I truly believe that our life is what we make it. It and is. you have to design it. Nothing just happens. And so I'm all I'm really a proponent of writing things down, planning things out, using your network, doing what you can to really design your life. And when you write things down, I have probably books, probably twenty or thirty notebooks that really? I have goals from 10, 15 years ago. Mm-hmm. And everything that I wrote down, everything I wanted, I got. You did it. Like, so you did vision got. board. I, yes. I'm vision board. I am mastermind groups. I love it. I am touch and agree. I am all of that. I love you it. You say you want something, let's do it. Let's, let's put do together. it. I really believe that. So, I love yes, that. I, I met you at Donnie Glover's Black Wall Street. Shout out to the homie. That's shout the homie. out. Yeah, shout Mr. out Donnie. Donnie. Love you. Be Congratulations. More yes. I was on his show last week. Yes. I, it'll be recorded. I can't so wait to watch I was, it. He has a new show, the Donnie Glover Show. Shout out to him. It's on ABC, too. Yes. And um, shout out Frank as well, who shot Frank shooting Johnson. down there. That's the homie. Man, we had a great time. So, shout out to him. And he yes. is why I know you. Yes. And so he is nothing but fabulous and he hangs around nothing but amazing people. Yes. And so you are one of those amazing people. Thank so you. here we are yeah. now. So let's talk a little bit about this six figure yes. uh, stylist book. What yes. made you, uh, first of all, decide to become an author? Because a lot of people in the beauty industry are just that, but they don't write yes. books. So, so why a book? B- b- for that reason, the, a lot of people in the beauty industry, they are not authors. And a lot of times we get stuck being behind the chair. Oh, and we right. don't take a broader look at what we can do in the industry. Mm-hmm. So my book is pretty much an outline of what you have to do as a holistic beauty professional so that you can look at the beauty industry for 
from all avenues. I, I believe love in, that. Thank you. I believe in multiple streams of in, um, of income. Mm-hmm. Yes. And, and, and it's this necessary. Day and age, you have to have as you it, can right? see, right? Absolutely. Yes. So my book talks about how to use your your website as being a focal point, how to being being in con uh, being in charge of your message mm-hmm. and what you're doing and ownership and not relying on social media, but how to use social media in context, how to be on the service side and the product side. Okay. So that even I as like a professional, it. we're still earning money in our sleep. Yeah. So and that's what's and up. So that's what <laughs> so for a lot of people they don't understand, but I, I heard someone say, you know, I don't want to give the wrong credit to someone, but mm-hmm. they said you're not really making money until you can make money in your sleep, yes. which means you have to be an investor in something. Mm-hmm. You have to, even if it's yourself, yes. a product, be mm-hmm. a product, mm-hmm. so that while you're not using your hands, because you can only make with so much. Yes. Your hands. Yeah. Absolutely. So that's a great way of thinking. Mm-hmm. So we appreciate you bringing that. And this Thank is you. and you bring beauty along with it. So, yep. Thank you. Thank so you. Yeah. Would you consider yourself also a stylist? She's a licensed stylist. I, I'm a licensed yeah, stylist. A stylist. I actually yeah. licensed Barbara, by the way. So oh. yeah, when when I was in um, hair school initially, I didn't want to do makeup. I didn't want to do the skincare and all that. I just wanted to do hair. Mm-hmm. So I figured, you know, why not take the shortcut? I yeah. save a few months, <laughs> save a few dollars, and I'll right. you know do everything with hair. And then um, I started to kind of I had to go back because I fallen in love with nails and other aspects wow. so you know so it, you just saw all around, around beauty I'm, expert I'm, I'm, all, I'm all beauty. around i'm yeah, I'm, I'm all yeah. around i, I really love it. it i really love that so we would yeah. like to have you come on sometime and like we'll have do a beauty panel do little beauty segments and stuff and yeah then you can talk about the in more in depth we have panels they'll Absolutely. ask you questions yep. about beauty industry and Absolutely. do's and don'ts and that kind of that stuff that would be nice I would love that we'll yeah. definitely do something like that do you have anything okay. coming up that you would like for our viewers any to know any events that you're hosting or anything like that or any, any make sure you definitely give them all your information before you awesome. get out of here your websites your yes. emails your all of that not, well yeah your email anything any, any it, product whatever you want them to know anything <laughs> that they can find you on any Thank platform you. social media wise or whatever fantastic don't give me a number though I don't want to <laughs> saying well, I did that. it out on oh spotlight <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Yeah. Thank you. So I do have, well, first and foremost, you can um, find out more information about me on my website at jrene.com. That's J-A-Y-E-R-E-N-E-E.com. That's my home base. You can find out everything. Um, my website, I like it now, but it's pretty much being revamped. So mm-hmm. bear with me. It's going to be bigger and greater. Also, I have a special launch that's really top secret that's taking place on February 14th. So you want to make sure that you're Valentine's on, Day. On, um, yes on Valentine's Day um, because it's something that's really near and dear to my heart. Okay. Um, so follow me on the social media. I'm on Instagram at Beauty Industry J. I'm on YouTube at Dollface Marketing. Um, let's see. My email, you can find my email through my website. Through J- the website. Yes, J at J right. Now make sure it's um, J-A-Y-E, you guys. Yes, J-A-Y-E. J-A-Y-E. And Renee with two E's. R-E-N-E-E. Two E's. E-E. Two E's. E-E. Dot com. J Renee dot com. Yes. I want to make sure they can okay. find you. We really appreciate you coming. We do. Um, you are definitely amazing. Thank you. And you did a great job as well hosting Black Wall Street, so that must be something that's also near and dear to your heart because I've seen you there and you be full-fledged there. <laughs> So yeah, I mean, you giving out awards left and right. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So actually, you gave wifey an award. She yes. sees the yes. Black Wall Street award. Because exactly. she's, she's, I mean, black well, women. This book. What we do in terms of economic development for our for our community is second to none. I mean, with men, you guys hold it down 100%, but there's something special about us women. Yes, and it so is. It was Girl. my honor to be Thank there. You. It was to, oh, to salute you. I was almost on the floor. It, yeah, I did, it took everything in me. It was, so, it was. <laughs> so thank you so much. You're and welcome. thank you so much for coming all the way from where you live. I'm in Annapolis. Okay, I'm so. I'm DMV, so not too far. Trying, I'm in the area. I'm all over. I'm in, yeah. I'm all okay, over. but you're not 95. too far away. You're a part of the Spotlight family now, so if our platform can be of any use to you for some of your upcoming events, please make sure you reach out to Thank us. You okay, so much. I'll definitely. Yeah, so we're family. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so one more time, okay. give it up for give Jay Renee. Give it up Renee, for Jay Renee, y'all. We you come. We'll be right back. Spotlight over the city. Thank All you. right. I put the spotlight on your city. I put the spotlight on your city. See the superstar. I put the spotlight on your city. I put the spotlight on your city. See the superstar. Hollywood to Hollywood. Girl, you look good. Yeah, they hollering, baby. A key modeling, baby. ATL, D. I put the spotlight on your city. Carolina Fee. I put the spotlight on your city. I put the spotlight on your city. I put the spotlight on your city. See the superstar. Hollywood to Hollywood. Girl, you look good. Yeah, they hollering, baby. A key modeling, baby. ATL, D. I 
put the spotlight on your city. Carolina Philly. I put the spotlight on your city. I put the spotlight on your city. I put the spotlight on your city. See the superstars. Hollywood to Hollywood. Girl, you look good. Yeah, they hollering, baby. A key modeling, baby. ATL D. I put the spotlight on your city. Carolina Fleet. I put the spotlight on your city. I put the spotlight on your city. I put the spotlight on your city. See the superstars. Hollywood to Hollywood. Girl, you look good. Yeah, they hollering, baby. A key modeling, baby. ATLD. I put the spotlight on your city. Carolina Fleet. I put the spotlight on your city. I put the spotlight on your city. We are back with another plus one in the building. We have actor, director, Darnell Dupree. Yeah, 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 yeah. Woo! My brother, it's a pleasure yes. to have you on board. You came a long way, too, because from my understanding, you're in Baltimore, right? Absolutely. Wow. Oh, wow. It's down the street. <laughs> it's, but it's a long way on a, <laughs> yeah, on a weeknight come, even. come up here and do a show. Yeah. It is not like it's around in the corner, In traffic. Right? Yeah, in, in traffic. traffic. So, so we, we appreciate it. time for doing We that, really do. You. Thank you so much. We first met this young man back in, I think, July or August at a... Um, movie premiere or movie screening for uh, Water with a Slice of Lemon, right? Yes. yes. And um, I don't think that it's not like out or anything like that, but what Stan and I recognize is true talent. We said, wow, we need to see if we can get him on the show. You, you're, The role that you played in that film was very, very good. And so yeah, we, we noticed good. that. Yeah, you did an amazing that. job. You did a great did job. An amazing job. Thank you did a great you. job. And so um, we thought we'd have you come on because you were telling us that, you know, you've um, done some prior acting. And I saw from your bio that you played a, a part on The, uh, the Wire. Absolutely. And um, you've yeah. got some things coming up. You've got a di your directing debut. So we want to know all about that. Yes. All um, about those things. So do you wow. know, Mama, before you get started, do you know the little homie Trey Chaney? I do. Oh. And, and, and Glover, Big G? Yes, that's oh, my okay. guy. Oh, okay. Wow. To those two, they were also in the wire. That's Shout why I asked. Big that's, G. that's fam. That's yeah, fam. That's, that's the home fam. Team, so. Absolutely. That's yeah. a good dude there. Yeah. yeah. That's what's up. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean to interrupt you. No, it's all good. No, all we want to know so. more about that. We want to know more about, you know, like, what what drew you to the, the, the world of acting and, and you know, um, what's what are some of the fun thing more fun things that you've done and we want to know what things we can look forward to oh absolutely yeah oh well uh with acting uh it started out i want to say i kind of i kind of stumbled on it oh to be honest with you uh, okay i was running late for class one day and um i happened to take a side street on a detour and i and i i noticed these um these trailers mm -hmm. just parked on the side. Mm -hmm. I saw like cameras and stuff. So I pulled over and I asked one of the um, the bystanders that was just on looking. I said, "Well, what's going on here?" So they said, um, I "said Well, this, they're shooting some movie called The Wire." <laughs> <laughs> just like Not that, a show, right? <laughs> but a movie called The Wire. Uh -huh. right, right. And um, in that time, this was maybe 2000, mm -hmm. 2001. So in Baltimore. Films were not being shot right at all. That's right. Okay. You know, um, there were no real uh, outlets for filmmaking or things like that. So it was new to me. So me uh, being my imaginative self, I told myself, I said, you know what? If these trucks are still here when I get back from class, I kind of made that little pact with myself. I said, you know what? If I see these trucks again, I'm gonna jump out and I'm just gonna run on set and tell them how can I get back. <laughs> You know, that's uh -huh. what I'm thinking. What? So, okay. Okay. Really? Tell random, us how that right? worked out. Yeah, okay. Ended up. Yeah. yeah. I'm, so, I'm no, curious. Yeah. So, so, so I, can, I, I can't I wait for this. Of, I know I don't have a lot of time, so no, I'm kind no, of skip no, that. No, we go. Go. I want to hit it. So after I come from class and I'm riding down the street and I'm having that little talk with myself, I'm like, okay, I'm almost here. And I look up the one way and I see the trucks. I said. <laughs> they still there. Still there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta I good gotta one. jump <laughs> in. I gotta do it, right? <laughs> so I pull around the block, I park, hop out the car, and I'm walking up the street. And I believe it's um, maybe episode one or two or something where uh, the 
the um, drug addict bub, Bubs. Uh-huh. Yeah, Bubbles. Bubbles. Yeah, yeah. It, it, yeah, it was yeah. him and, and his little, uh, the Caucasian friend he had, the yeah, white the one, guy. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I remember him too. Yes. The both he'd be of pushing them. the car. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. exactly. With all this stuff yeah. in there. So I remember. I'm walking. I actually caught that scene. Okay. Where he got hit okay. in the middle of the street okay. by the car. Yeah. So I saw that. I was like, oh, oh my God. So I'm looking. I'm like, this is really happening. And I look over on the sidewalk, and you see the director with the director's chair and the umbrella. Mm-hmm. and So all of this was new to me. So, um, wow. And I literally stayed on that set, and a gentleman walked up to me, and he was like, he's like, hey, man, can I take your picture? So I turned around, I'm like, take my picture? And I'm dressed in sportswear, so right, right. black T-shirt and mm-hmm. jeans. And I'm like, what do you want to take my picture for? He's like, well, just, just let me take your picture, man. He's like, I'm, 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 with, uh, I'm with HBO. So I said... I gave him one of these looks like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, right, yeah. So he's like, no, for real, really, no, it's not nothing like that. He turns around uh-huh. on the back of his shirt. It says HBO to Y. So I said, okay, all right. wow. He's like, yeah, man, just let me take your picture. He had, he had me stand up against this, these row houses. Took a picture. He's like, we'll be back with you in in the next maybe two to three weeks. And so I'm like, yeah, okay, all right. And I'm going to tell you how much I believed him. I gave him my grandmother's number. You serious? I literally gave him my grandmother's house number. And wow. during this time, a lot of people didn't have cell phones. Right. So, you know, she just calls me up one day. She's like, darn out. She's like, we just talking normal talk. How you doing, grandma? Blah, 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 blah. She's like, well, somebody called here for you before I forget. Some, some lady called here for you from, I don't know. So I'm quiet. And I'm like, well, who's going to call your house? For me? Like, who right. is it? So she's like. Well, she said her name was X, Y, and Z, and she's something about The Wire and, and HBO. <laughs> and she was like, oh, grandma. When she said that, <laughs> let me tell you, my heart was in my underwear. <laughs> right. I didn't know what, because no experience at all. Right. So, so now I'm you got to make do for real. It got to come true now, because they, they looking for you. It has wow. To. And that's so really that's how you got your foot in the door. Literally. Look they at told that, me, she said, you know what? Here's the number. And as I'm writing the number down, my fingers are shaking. I'm just like, oh my God, what did she mean? So I'm writing the number. I called the name, I called the phone. And I said, Well, yeah, I was told that someone called my mm-hmm. grandmother's house for me. She's <laughs> like, Well, what's your name? I said, Well, it's Darnell Dupree. Mr. Dupree, we've been looking for you. Where have you been? I we've been trying to call you and get in touch with you next month. And I'm just like, okay. So she's <laughs> like, Well, I need you to report at this place at this time on Friday. Uh this, that what is, is just, nothing happens by coincidence. And that so, just goes so, to show so you, that's, that's what, that's that was so your every, destiny. Yeah, see, yeah. God, divine, Acting. like, everything is ordained. Like, for yep. real, like, I, coincidence, that ain't even a Greek word. I mean, nope. that ain't even a Hebrew word. <laughs> right. It's not even in the Hebrew. So that's how you know it's not real. And so in my Man. mind, I would just want to hear you play it out to see, did you even... Like how did I thought you really jumped on this? Set. No, 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 no. I, I didn't have to do, do that. But you know, that's how wow. crazy I would do. But it was crazy though. Once, once I showed up, they had me do a couple of background scenes. I maybe did maybe six um, background episodes. Uh huh. Yeah. And then I received that phone call to uh, read for a speaking role. Wow, that's in, pretty cool. I got it, and, and you got it, and you ended up being a part of the wire. Good and for so you. That, and shout out to Idris and Wood Harris because they both they kind of hey, coached me over the say, over the what, phone. What you say? Say, shout oh out my to, god! Hey, 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 this joke hey, here, she ready to get divorced. Hey, already. Stringer right. Bell. <laughs> no, no. That's all she talk about is Stringer. Every time when I first but met baby, her, but baby, that's she's he's like, not a real hey, person. Stringer Bell. Stringer Bell is not real. Oh, that's what it. Yeah, it's Stringer Bell. Stringer Bell, girl. <laughs> she was an Avon girl. She was an Avon girl. Yeah, now right? Avon. Yeah, Avon, Avon Barksdale. Still, yeah, yeah, I get it. But string a bell. Yeah, yeah, yeah oh it was okay. okay. Well, that's well, very interesting. On. Um, so okay, <laughs> fast right, fast forward. Um, now you're getting your feet wet into the directing uh realm, right? Absolutely. And so you went absolutely. from acting to directing. So how did that happen? Well, um, you know, I always. You know, much like the young lady that was just up here, um, I've always had this infatuation with being my own boss. Mm-hmm. You know, that mm-hmm. that was my whole thing, creating legacy for my um, soon-to-be kids or whatever That's the case right. may be. So I always want to um, lay down a foundation, something I could pass on. Yeah. And why not let it be something uh, related to the film industry? Right. Yeah. Already, already there, there right? Yeah. It, you know, yeah, I made connections. Um, I did a lot of networking and, yeah. you know, just me. I, and I also wanted to see my vision from a different perspective. Mm-hmm. And I love to see things uh, progress 
from nothing and turn into something. Turn the process. into something, the process. The process. Okay. Grew up with the process. Okay. And so, what's your favorite between acting and directing? Which one would you choose if you had to make a choice? Wow. Career wise. <laughs> oh, my God. I, I would say, uh, you know, ironically, both of them really have no uh, expiration date on it. And that's another thing I love about the film industry. Like, you have actors that have been in acting since they were little kids. Mm -hmm. and, I mean, look at Morgan Freeman. Look at Tommy Lee But you got to pick. You have to I'm, pick right the, now. He's not letting me get no, away No, you're trying to slide off. Yeah. Spotlight yeah. over the city. We hold you straight You got to pick. Right. You got to make a pick. pick well, a they say you got to have one, and that's the only okay. one you, you got to pick look, one or bro, the other. We're going to pay you <laughs> such and such to act. Or same ticket to direct as act, though. Ain't no difference oh at this God. point. It's not a money situation. Right. It's a love situation. It's a love situation. What you going to do, What you going to do? Well, um... Why y'all been talking? Hey man, it's okay, right. the city, let, let me say, um, I, if I had to pick, um, this is tough, man. But I, I would probably give a slight nod to directing. Okay, be I, I would say the same, but I want to know your why. <laughs> Main, mainly, be, and I'm gonna tell you, this is probably the only reason why, is because you have, I think you have more influence on the overall project as a director yep. than yeah. you do as a single actor. I could see film. that. Well, I would say I had this, I, I was, uh, shout out to Vera Katz, me and her were in the living room, we, and she asked me this question. She said, so long term, what are you going to choose? Because I was trying to take directing lessons under her. Mm -hmm. She taught at Howard, by the way, and put Taraji in Hollywood and a whole bunch of people. So this oh, is wow. who Vera Katz is. So I was, she said, so, so which one would you choose? And so I was like, directing? She said, that's a good choice because in her opinion, she said it's more longevity in it because you don't get too old too direct. Ah, mm -hmm. But in exactly. acting, uh, you have certain roles that you can fit in as a youngster, but when you get a little older, it's only a limited role for yeah. you, Absolutely. right? Yeah. And so Absolutely. that's what she said up to me, and that's why I was wondering what your why would be, yeah. and I was figuring which one you would choose. Yeah. yeah. So, What's you know, it? tell us a little bit Absolutely. more about your upcoming, di uh, you got something coming up. Uh, it being a director and you've got this uh non-profit thing going on let's t talk a little yeah, bit really about that, hear about that you know non -profit okay yeah. well, well let's get into that now yeah because um, we don't have a lot of time okay. yeah so i wanted to make sure we got to it's that important guests, stuff yeah. thank you oh uh, yeah we're gonna we gotta skype them in oh okay cool and we told them yeah skype them in so we're gonna we're gonna get through okay. this one too okay so the um non-profit organization is called um the grassy roots project um and the mm. way that came about was you know, um, I'm, an, I'm a natural athlete, so I come up playing football and basketball and uh, all kinds of sports. But okay. Under, but under the whistle, I've played sports, uh, football and basketball, all the way up to uh, high school. I mean, I played semi-pro with basketball. Okay. So I went to college and then semi-pro. Okay. So um, it, it was my ultimate way to give back to the community. I always feel like if, if you're blessed enough to get opportunities to um, – to build a platform and to be influential in, in your communities that you kind of owe that yeah. to your community. To I, I, I love that. Yeah. And, yeah. and I come from very humble beginnings so, mm -hmm. and I'm always still in that environment. So I feel like I owe those little kids the same thing. Cause yeah. I once had those dreams of doing something major and impacting the people that are watching me. So mm -hmm. I definitely feel compelled to give that back. So, yeah. So what's the um, name of it? So people can the grassy, grassy roots, roots project. project. Grassy roots yes. project. Yeah. Now I, I'm, I'm in the process of, of receiving my, f uh, f uh, 501c3. Okay. So, okay. Um, that's really good. It's yeah. Still, but yeah, it's, but that's it's, it though. That's it's, a great thing. I, right. I love what you're doing. We also have that. a nonprofit we work on as well. For so you that know what I'm same. talking yes, about. Do. That's a process. It's yeah, a process. It's a, process. It's a and, tedious and, one. Yeah. Tedious I'm process. You on somebody who can help speed it up for you. I appreciate it. But yes, yeah, yeah. they also write grants so they can help you once you get it because you need grants and all this and that. So that yeah. is true. I got you, bro. I'm yeah. about to you. We're going to have to Listen to me, man. So what can our viewers look forward to in the near future from Darnell Dupree? What do you want them to? To, uh, how they, how they, they find, find you? Because we got to. We want to build before, your. Y'all got to go have, follow but, him. But look, when we Skype the person, and he can sit tight. Okay. And we oh, can yeah. go to the Skype, and yeah. then we can. Well, I got time. Yeah. Got yeah. Time. Wait. What time we got to Skype? Seven forty-five. So we a little okay. bit behind, okay, but so we can. Okay. Now you stay sit tight, and let's go to the Skype. Okay. Yeah. Let's get to this. I put the spotlight on your city. I put the spotlight on your city.
put the spotlight on your city. Carolina Philly. I put the spotlight on your city. I put the spotlight on your city. I put the spotlight on your city. See the superstar. Hollywood to Hollywood. Girl, you look good. Yeah, they hollering, baby. A key modeling, baby. ATLD. I put the spotlight on your city. Carolina Philly. I put the spotlight on your city. I put the spotlight on your city. I put the spotlight on your city. See the superstar. Hollywood to Hollywood. Girl, you look good. Yeah, they hollering, baby. A key modeling, baby. ATLD. I put the spotlight on your city. Carolina Philly. I put the spotlight on your city. I put the spotlight on your city. I put the spotlight on your city. Welcome All back right, to we're back. Over the city. We are back. We, we, we had a little tip difficulty, so we're going to get right back in about five more minutes. We'll Skype in Alfonso. But we, we still have Jade on the panel, so make sure you guys uh, give her. If you have any questions or anything going on before we get off there, make sure you shoot it, shoot it to us so we can ask her. But back to you, gentlemen. We, we, you, had, you was giving out some info and stuff, so now we can kind of take our time a little bit and get it. Yeah, definitely. On, um, uh, I think I believe she uh, Terry asked me about upcoming projects. Mm -hmm. We have so um, one upcoming project we have is uh, a uh, film called uh, The Double Exclusive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's is a project uh, that was brought to me um, by uh, um, BCP, which is Black Carpet Productions. Okay. They're actually out of DC as well. Um, okay. Uh, shout Black out Carpet to Productions. Uh, shout uh, out to y'all. Jocelyn. Shout out Jocelyn. Yeah. Yes. In, in a, okay. In a, a Adib and. Um, also, uh, G-Man Productions, which is Glenn Parton, a good uh, business partner of mine. So okay. we all got together and uh, with an amazing project. Make sure you're talking to Mike. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. sure we, um, the three um, entities got together and on an awesome project, man. This is going to be a, wow. a really decent project. Um, I'm extra excited about it. Um, it's okay. it's going to start off as a short film, of course. Uh, we've we've completed it. Is in the process of uh, post production right now. So okay, cool. Yeah, we're wow. looking to launch it around um, April. Okay, y'all gotcha. heard that now, and um, we'll we'll have more coming from this young man. You we gonna you told me you're gonna come back to the show soon too, right? Absolutely. Okay, so yeah, so you have yeah. like to say we you family. So make sure you keep us up on all your projects. Yes. so you can come back on and promote through Spotlight. And we love what you're doing. I definitely like Thank how you're you. thinking. Yeah. And the nonprofit is a big deal. A lot of people don't know that giving is how you receive. You know? Yes, yeah. absolutely. And so, you know, that that's a blessing that, that you even know that. And, you know, yeah. so I like your grind. Keep up your hustle, and we're going to keep tuning. How do people you. keep up with you? Yeah, how do they find oh, you? Oh, man. Social um, media. Yeah, social media. Um, I'm I'm probably more on Facebook and, and IG more than anything. Okay. But, um, it's... Uh, at uh, Prevision Films, which is my film company, of course. Okay. I'm sorry, I Vision. forgot to mention Prevision Films, y'all. Yes, okay, films. then. Yes, that's P R E E, the P -R -E -E. word vision and film. Gotcha. Okay, P R E E. -R, it's two E's. P R E E, yes. Vision, vision films. Film, all together, so y'all. P R E E, Vision yes. Films. How about vision Facebook? Instagram. Um, uh, Facebook, same thing. Same Prevision thing. Films. Prevision Films. Yes, and it's actually the last four letters of my last name, Dupree. Okay. P R E E. Oh, okay. P R E E. Oh, it's yeah, kind yeah, of a play yeah. on words. Gotcha. Okay. I like that. Okay. I, with I like that. Came, yeah. But that'll work. P R E E <laughs> Vision Films, y'all. So and Prevision the, Films. Y'all. I, I also have a um. I'm sorry. I also have a, a, a personal page as well, uh, Darnell Dupree. Okay. Uh, that's on Facebook and Instagram as well, um, at Darnell Dupree. D-A-R-N-E-L-L, -L, right? Yes. Darnell. Okay, yes. then. And D-U-P-R-E-E. -E. All right. Well, we All appreciate right. that so much. We appreciate y'all. Look for great things coming from this young man in the future. Um, Absolutely. And make sure you go follow him today. So yes. you keep up with what he's doing. Yes. Immediately. Okay. Right now. Get on and, and we're going to uh, do a quick commercial break, and we're going to try this interview Skype, again. And we'll be right, right back. Right spotlight back. Over the Thank you, guys. I put the spotlight on your city. I put the spotlight on your city. See the superstar. Hollywood to Hollywood. Girl, you look good. Yeah, they hollering, baby. A key modeling, baby. ATLD. I put the spotlight on your city. 
Carolina Philly. I put the spotlight on your city. I put the spotlight on your city. I put the spotlight on your city. See those superstars. Hollywood to Hollywood. Girl, you look good. Yeah, they Hollywood, baby. A key modeling baby. Here we go. There we go. Now we can see you. Hello. What's going on, bro? What's up? How are you? Man, How we are good? you? We good. We good. I'm doing incredible. I'm up here at Sundance. Oh, oh wow! I love it. I love it. Wish we are I was there. super proud of what's going on. When I read, I read all this. I said, "Oh my goodness, we got to get him on." We wish we could have you live here in the studio, but technology allows us to do this, and we are very appreciative for you joining us for these last few minutes of the show. For sure. Oh no, it, it's a real honor and thrill. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah. Well, why don't you um, tell us and tell our viewers about this moths, this this moths and butterflies film that you. You are a winner of something, and I don't want to spill it. I'm gonna let you tell it. What did you win? Um, I, I am the uh, the winner for the HBO award for best short film at the American Black Film Festival. Yeah, man, give it up for that. Yes, y'all, give it up. Woo! Yeah, we like it. We like it. So yes. Yeah. So <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, yeah, uh, Moth and Butterflies is a film that I wrote. Um, and, and it's about mental health, it's about love, it's about accepting who you are, and, and, and most importantly, it's about exercising empathy. Oh, um, man. I love it, love it. Wow. The film was inspired by, uh, the film was inspired by some relationships in which that I had encountered over, you know, really in my 20s. I noticed a lot of my friends had experienced some, some really low lows, and I wanted to, and I didn't understand what was going on, and a lot of people were not talking about what was right. going on. Yeah. Um, a really close friend of mine committed suicide on my 21st birthday, mm. and that right. was the first kind of shock wave that kind of like shook the, shook me to the core. Man. And then, um, and so, I, and, and, and you know, throughout, throughout my 20s, I began to develop anxiety, and I wanted to, to deal with that in an honest way, and yeah. so I wrote this film. Wow, love man, it. we love and that's this. That's a really honest way to deal with it. And congratulations on the Sundance situation. Yeah. I wish I was out there. Yeah, that's big. That's, that's big. big. Hey, I don't, I don't have a film here. I'm just here to, to be a man about time to get the word out about the movie. That's right. That's right. You, uh, just to meet some wonderful people. That's right. That's so how it's you hustle, though. That's the grind. It's going to premiere that. on HBO next Thursday, right? Uh, no, is it two Thursday, Thursday no, from February now. 7th. February seventh. February seventh. February seventh. Two Thursday during Black Black History Month, right? Yeah. Hey, man. That's, yeah. that's exactly. I mean, okay, that's well, we're definitely going to push it on our end. We're going to push that and um, get the word out there so we can get as many viewers as possible. Definitely. That's amazing. I really appreciate that. Yeah, you know, and I, I had, you know, when you mentioned your story, my first cousin, who was almost like a brother to me, committed suicide. What was that, babe? About two, three years yeah, ago. About two years, it was yeah. very, very tough. And so, and my sister, actually, wow. she's a mental health professional. She has a mental health practice here in the DMV. She's Dr. Neverson. I'm so proud of her. Yeah. So, cool. you know, this stuff is near and dear to my heart. So I, um, I am so looking forward to February 7th because I am going to be glued to the TV. And you hey, wait, hold up. Day. You said DMV? Yeah, yeah we're in the DMV area. I'm, I'm, I'm went to Virginia State. Wow. Oh, yeah. That's what's okay. Up. Wow. That's okay. Yeah, where where y'all at? We're, we're in like the Washington, D.C. metropolitan area. Yeah, we directly across from Howard University, baby. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you right there. Yeah, yeah we right in yeah. the city. Yeah. Whenever you're in this area, this platform, you're part of the family now. You know, once you come on the show, you're in the family. Yeah, so, that's it. however, our platform can, can help you and what you're doing, let us know. Thank you. Thank okay, you. we I'm appreciate it. I'm definitely going to use use that. I have I have nothing but love for the DMV. Um, in fact, I'm looking at home ownership. Uh, in in uh in uh in Baltimore, which is not quite the DMV. Oh, but, but it's really well, close. We didn't grandfather them in. Yeah, he's that's where he's from. In. That's right. Indeed. We got yeah. Baltimore in the building now. I mean, from yeah. the distance, you kind of look like Charles Blow from CNN. <laughs> no, that's not. That's not him. But he is in that. He's in the industry. He's in the. Uh, yes. he, he's an actor too. So and he a was one of the, and a yeah. director. He was on our show tonight as well, and he lives in Baltimore. Yeah. Yeah. Born and raised. Yeah. Born and raised. So, so thank you again, you, my brother. We proud and we salute you for what you're doing. Yes, Absolutely. kudos Big to salute. you. Oh, thank you. We will thank get the you. word out. Send us, you know, send us the stuff that you want us to put out there, and we will. We are on it. And how can they keep up with you before you go? How can they follow? Oh yeah, you? how can they follow you? Uh, so you can check me out on my website www.alfonsojohnson a l f o n s o johnson dot com. Okay. You can check me out on Instagram Alfonso underscore Johnson. 
Twitter, Alfonso Johnson, Facebook, you know, okay. all of this stuff. We got it. We'll put it out there for you. Okay, Thank bro. you. HBO February 7th. We got February you. February 7th. We got you locked in. That's yep. a great day, too, though. I'm going to okay. in, bro. Okay. We all tuned in. The whole we, metropolitan salute. area. And we'll make sure they can go on Spotlight and see that date. And um, any trailers or anything come available, let us know. We'll plug it in on the okay, show. Okay, yeah. Well, I, I, I'll, I'll make sure that uh, my publisher sends everything over. Yeah, yeah. we'll, we'll put it, it on the show. Dude. All right, Man, bro. Be good. Let it. us know how it turns out at Sundance. <laughs> Say it again? Let us know how it turns out at Sundance. Yeah. Hey man, I, I'm I, I'm so excited for for everything that's gonna be happening. Yeah. I can't wait. Yep. All right, right well, we'll, we'll, like we'll talk to you soon. Okay. Hey, that's what's up. Yeah. yeah. All right we appreciate now. Appreciate that, man. Straight dope. Man. Yeah, man. We we are so blessed. We have so many talented people that come to Spotlight over the city. Um, we have some amazing shows coming up. Yes, we got to wrap do. it up, though, you guys. We got to get out of here. But before we go, i just like to say, I know people are going through some tough times. Hang in there. This is time to get spiritually grounded and rooted. Yeah. Make sure you don't be shook and shaken. Um, that's the way to not be so shaken is to be spiritually rooted and grounded. It's going to be really tough out here today, but we salute you guys. We know we're pulling for you. It's affecting everybody, but yeah. just look around and be sure before you want to quit and give up on something, make sure you look around because there's always someone doing worse than you yeah. and Absolutely. it gives you something to be thankful for. And on that yeah. note, we got to get out here. We want to thank our guests for being a part of Spotlight thank you over all the city so once much. again. Thank you thank you. Thanks for and um, as always, love hard, live good. God first. Spotlight over the city. Absolutely. I put the spotlight on your city. I put the spotlight on your city. See the superstar. Hollywood to Hollywood.